Journey back in time to Livermore, Maine, a place where time stands still in the mid-1800s. It was a time when everyday life revolved around farming, leading to innovations in agriculture. Today, this living museum remains a microcosm of 19th century rural New England. The Washburn family estate preserved this homestead after Israel and Martha's seven sons achieved national recognition for their public service. A registered National Historic District, the New Orleans Living History Center's mission is to immerse the visitors in the sights, sounds, and smells of the period. The New Orleans name comes from the mention of Northlands in Lord Alfred Tennyson's poem, Ballad of Oriana. This bygone Northland comes to life as period townspeople interact with the visitors. Realistic presentations take place in and around the actual historic buildings, such as the 1828 Universalist Church with original pews and organ. Learning experiences for children and adults continue in this reconstructed one-room schoolhouse originally built in 1853. The hub of the museum is the Washburn Italianate-style family mansion built in 1867 with adjoining farmer's cottage and a barn full of animals. The most recent structure is the granite neo-gothic Washburn Memorial Library built by the brothers in 1883. The library houses the family archives as well as early records of the town of Livermore. The dedicated staff of costumed interpreters introduced tour groups, school field trips, individuals and families to life on the frontier. As Hannah Coolidge, I, I come here to the New Orleans and I do a program called A Journey Four. And this is a journey into the past where the boys and girls learn about life as it is in 1870. And we compare this kitchen with their kitchen at home and we discuss the differences between those kitchens. We then make a gingerbread together and then go to a visit to the barn. And boys and girls really enjoy that. I think the hardest thing for a girl to learn in 1800s is dealing with the wood stove, knowing how much wood to put in one part of the stove to make the oven just the right temperature for either cakes or cookies or gingerbreads. Boys will fill up my wood box in the morning so that I don't have to go out to the wood pile to get the wood. They'll also fill my bucket of water so that I don't have to go out to the pump too often. That makes it easier to work in this kitchen. So anything that's left over scraps go into the pig pail. And whoever does the chores in the evening will dump in the pig pail. Norlands hosts numerous festivals where the public can participate and learn about period games and contests, as well as Civil War encampments where visitors can meet the reenactors. Occasionally, the museum takes a further step back in time to demonstrate our Wabanaki cultural heritage as well as the lifestyles of Maine's early settlers, trappers, and traders. Seasonal maple syrup and cider produced the way Grandma used to make it satisfy the appetites and curiosity of many New Orleans visitors. History-themed dinners complete with a barn dance, round out the program schedule during the year. The Washburn political dynasty arose from this rural hamlet in Livermore. Today, the family's heritage lives on through the collections and resources found on these 445 acres. The buildings and their contents stand unchanged by time. The well-trained and devoted staff who recreate Maine the way it was at New Orleans are helping us to understand the relationship of past and present. Mm -hmm. 